Hey, what's going on everyone? Bobby from Repair Shopper, and it's that time of the week again. Welcome to Feature Friday. This week we're talking about a new UI update that we're extending from the asset section to the ticket section. I think a lot of people are going to like it. So what we did previously in the asset section is we allowed you to pick and choose what columns were actually shown when you go to the asset tab. Well, you can actually do that to the ticket tab now as well. I think this is one of the more demanded things about the new UI that I've gotten from users. So how does it work? Pretty simple. First, head to the ticket tab. Then there is now a button in the upper left called customize. Go ahead and click that. And you can see that we added a ton of options. Some pretty cool features here. You'll also see that you can pick and choose from custom fields to show here as well. Uh, a couple additional columns that we created for this update was also invoiced and charges. So for those of you that have been asking to get rid of maybe the created date or the last updated date, you can do that now. We'll click update and charges to replace them. Scroll down to the bottom. Hit save. The page will refresh and the new columns will be shown. There you go. Pretty simple. Well, I shouldn't say simple. This is actually a lot harder than you would think to actually make work. Pretty straightforward is a good word. We'll use that. Pretty straightforward update for everyone in Feature Friday this week. Just trying to deliver more custom customization options uh, to everyone uh, using Repair Shopper. And yeah, if you're still watching, I appreciate your time. Please hit the like button and the subscribe button and all that stuff that the YouTube folks say. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.